Now, some of you guys who are new to the NPC platform are wondering, how do you separate your drum tracks so you can have all of your samples on individual tracks so you can export them and then possibly send them over to another DAW to you know, do some further mixing and making things sound better. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I do that today. So let's get to it. Bolo. Before we get started, if you guys need any equipment for your studio, make sure you guys go ahead and click my link in the description and head over to Zounds.com. Zounds has a whole bunch of stuff on the site and they have a whole bunch of stuff on the site that requires no credit or background check. Meaning all you have to do is order it, they'll ship it to you and you can make monthly payments. All you have to do is add a credit or debit card up to the account and you can go ahead and get your stuff just like that. So if you guys need some equipment, make sure you guys go ahead and click my link in the description and head over to zounds.com and get you some equipment today. Also, you guys know I rock with analog cases because they make the best cases to protect your gear and they make the most professional stands to protect your gear as well. And they just released a new travel backpack called the Track Pack. The Track Pack Travel Backpack. Wonder if you can say that three times in a row. But this is the ultimate musician's backpack to travel with. This is a professional musician's backpack. You can put your MPC Live 2 in there. You can put your Machine Plus, your Roland SP404. You can add in your MIDI controllers as well, and you even have a compartment to add your laptop in there too. And everything stays protected because this bag is heavily insulated with nothing but protection. And to make things even better, they have a whole bunch of compartments where you can put your cords, your keys, your cell phones, hell, the kitchen sink if you want to put that in there too. So if you're a professional musician that is on the go, make sure you guys go ahead and check out this Track Pack Traveler's Backpack. I'm telling you right now, you will not be disappointed. Go ahead and click my link in the description to analog cases and save 10% today. Now this tutorial is for the people who are just now getting started in this NPC journey. I know a lot of you guys know how to do this, but we're here to help out the new guys, all right? So instead of being negative, let's go ahead and help out, you know, the new guys here. Now there is several ways you can do this, but I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to do this. So if you make a whole song and you arrange it out, or if you just have multiple tracks and you wanna go ahead and just bounce them down so you can go ahead and arrange them out inside of your DAW, you can do it that way. So let's go ahead and go over to the MPC so I can show you guys how to do this. And the uh, drum kit that I'm going to be using today is my No Limitations kit. So if you guys need some really dope drums, go ahead and check out my drum kits. The link is in the description. All right, so I have a sequence pulled up and I have a drum track. And inside of this drum track, I have four sounds. And then I went ahead and recorded a quick drum loop and this is how it sounds. Now, if we click on the arranger view, as you guys can see, all of the sounds are on one track and you guys want to know how to split these up so you guys can export these and send them over to a DAW so you'll have more control over them. Now, there's multiple ways we can do this, but I'm gonna show you guys the way to do this to where you can save all of your samples and all your sounds in a sequence to where you can bounce everything down at one time. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we click on this side right here where it says drum. We don't wanna be in the arrangement side. We wanna be on the drum side right here. Once we do that, we go right here to this pencil tool and we click on this. And inside of here, we have this thing that says explode tracks. So what we're gonna do is press on that right there. And then now what it's going to do is explode all of the tracks. So if we go into the arranger view, as you guys can see, it has all of our individual sounds on their own separate track now. And then what it did for the one track right here, the top that had all of our sounds, it actually muted that track. So if we go back to it, we go back and then as you guys can see, that track is muted. And to be honest with you, we really don't need it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click right here on this pencil tool and go to delete track. So now if we go back to the arranger view, we have all of our samples right here and they're all on separate tracks. So if we play it, it's going to sound exactly the same. So now that it's done, all we have to do is save this to audio files. And what we can do is just hit menu, go to save, and then hit 
Audio Mixdown. Now, once we're inside Audio Mixdown, you want to click on Separate Tracks. Once you do that, you want to make sure that you select the audio format, the bit depth, and the sample rate. These are just my personal favorites that I use. You can change it to whatever, but I at least recommend this. And then you just press Export, and then from there, you want to create a folder or something like that and save it somewhere to where you can find it. And it's that easy. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. You can do it in four bars, eight bars, or a whole sequence that you arranged. And then that way you can go ahead and dump them into your favorite doll so you can go ahead and get the best mix as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.